Hi guys, it's Dane. It is a Friday. This is the reading vlog. I have an ear infection. I'm in quite a lot of pain. I'm going to make some food. I'm not going to the open mic, which is the monthly open mic that I normally go to because I feel terrible. But yeah, and I'm going to do some reading. So I'm going to crack on with reading The Long War. All right. Okay, I made uh, Chinese vegetable lo mein with tofu and it looks phenomenal. I'm about to serve it now. Mm. Oh, yeah. You sitting on my recipe books again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get your chin. He likes his chin. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lovely little chin. He's very soft. He also smells nice. He smells of cat. Don't you, Biggie? You've been cleaning yourself. <laughs> I'm watching Jablinski Games on YouTube. I only found the channel recently. It's Jack Black's channel, and he's currently hanging out with Jack White. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying Jack Black's uh, channel. You should let me know as well if you watch any, like... I watch Jack Black and Will Smith and both of their vlogs are very entertaining, but I'm sure there are others I'm missing. In fact... Freebie, recommend some channels below. Oh God, I look awful. My ear is still infected. Actually, the other one is also infected, but this one is worse. And uh, yeah, I'm getting there though. This is why my hair's out of the way, because I just had to put my special drops in. Look, I've got my special drops. My Sofradex. And then, and then here I have my amoxicillin, and the doctor keeps prescribing them to the wrong name. He keeps prescribing them to Dane Ashley Cobain, and Ashley is my old middle name from 2005 and before. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm still reading The Long War. I'm about halfway through now. I am enjoying it. I've been sleeping so much, though, because of this ear infection. Like, 16 hours a day I've been sleeping, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, I have made at least a dent in it. Again, like I say, should be on halfway soon. I'm on page 208 of about 500, I think it was. Yeah, 501. So I'm going to crack on with that. Uh, I didn't go to Oxford today for the food, even though I did want to. But I just I woke up so late and felt so ill that I just w wasn't up for it. But I will be going to the carnival tomorrow, hopefully. Bex is supposed to be coming over in the morning, and then we're going to head head down and it's literally the street just there um i also finished a cookbook i finished students go vegan cookbook by carol raymond i would give this like three out of five there was only like between half a dozen and a dozen recipes in this that i even wanted to try and then i didn't keep all of them but the ones i did keep were pretty good uh yeah three out of five it's pretty bog standard there's also loads of stuff about nutrition in this which i didn't even look at because i don't really need to uh so i think this is more for new vegans who are students basically and a lot of it's like super simple it's like here's how you make rice all right <laughs> so uh yeah if you can get it cheap maybe but uh, don't pay full price okay so that's where i'm at so even though it's now five to ten because i've been asleep all day i'm going to try and finish off a couple reviews and videos i made carrot hummus and i'm going to eat it with these sesame seed bagels while watching jack septicai apparently you're awesome. We are off to Desperate Road Carnival. Hey, the art center's busy. That's cool. This is actually probably the busiest I've seen the art center outside. When I'm great and old, I want to know I did something amazing. Travel to different countries, perform on different stages. When I'm great and old, I want to know I did something amazing. Value time. Because when we go, we partake it. Thank you. Ah, uh, bubble. I play clueless, spitting bad stuff that you've really seen. I had no clue about making or stacking. Gotta go to that. To the vegan market. Oh, there's Lorraine. You've never been inside the art centre, grand space. It's nice, it, well, like, it's the converted church. It's, this is where I had the uh, book launch for No Rest for the Wicked as well, which was banging because we had all the lighting sorted and I was, I was preaching from the pulpit. There you go, look at that. 
It is nice, isn't it? Oh, I can smell, I can smell the incense as well. Right? I've just realised I did a terrible job of vlogging, didn't I? Why? Well, because I didn't vlog any of this. Right. We are in the. This is the vegan market, the Wickham Art Centre. You're getting what you get, and you're getting the stew with quinoa and peas and salad. I have just been getting myself some incense. My friend Lorraine is over there. Oh yeah, we got some of Lorraine's things. We had a nice little look around. Lovely. Be looking like Liam Howlett. What's it like to be in a parade? Can you get a little bit of me wiggling my ass, please? <laughs> 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 There is a man who looks like Terry Pratchett. You got these like sort of vaguely skippily dressed women in front of me and I'm like, Terry! Oh, hello. After five o'clock. Hello. So information about the classes, do come and talk to me. Oh, so oh I like your hair. Monday and uh, yeah I've been spent I spent a lot of yesterday tidying so I've actually moved all my stuff around now look so this is where my sofa now is it's against the window so the backdrop of my booktube videos is going to change and then here we have my mighty array of screens and that light is currently on because I'm currently doing a bit of filming uh, so I did that and then through here I tidied my bedroom didn't I biggie I tidied my bedroom but uh, the blanket, the duvet currently isn't on because I'm hungover today. So that's why the duvet is down there because I've made a den on the sofa. Except as I'm currently filming, I thought I should probably move it out of the way. And uh, yeah, all of this bit's done. Over here on the sides, all of that is done as well. However, I'm yet to do the floor and also like all of this is grim and the bathroom and outside. But we're getting somewhere. So yesterday it was uh, Desperate Carnival. It was the first one of the events and literally the road it started on and where all the stuff was probably 100 feet from my house like a 20 30 second walk or something so i went along to that uh bex and i ended up actually being in the parade which we weren't planning to they were just like oh if anyone wants to join in 
feel free to. And so I put on a tutu. Uh, then I accidentally showed someone my penis because my belt broke during the parade and my tra jeans kept falling down, so I had to keep hoiking them up. And so I showed people, I was like, look, what happens if, I'm, if I've not got a belt on and my jeans literally fell around my ankles? But unfortunately, my penis was poking out of my boxer shorts. So I gave a few people an eyeful, but oh well. Uh, I was also helping at the art centre, picking up cups and stuff, uh, just to help keep the place a bit tidy. And yeah, I had some shots, I came home and uh, played some video games and stuff. So yeah, so that's it. Uh, today I've been hard at work, I've been cleaning the kitchen, and uh, I finished reading The Long War by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. This was like a 3.75 out of 5, not quite a 4. It was good, but it wasn't great, and considering the first book was amazing, I was a little bit disappointed by that, if I'm if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, full review coming soon. It was still a good book, and I still plan to keep reading the series. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. But all in all, yeah, glad glad I did that. And then here I have the Chronicles of Narnia: The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis, which I'm currently reading. It's book number six in the Narnia series. I'm on page 44 of like 190. I might even finish that today. I'm not sure. Depends when I go to bed. But uh, yeah, it's all right. Actually, so, so far it's only been, it's really been a massive dip in quality for the horse and his boy. And then the rest of them have all been around 3.54 stars. So, yeah. And, and again, I'm enjoying it so far, so, yeah. And I posted my review of the first book, The Magician's Nephew, the other day, and it seemed to go, like, for one of my reviews, it got like 13 likes. <laughs> my reviews normally get like two likes, so that was good. But yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you and do a little bit more filming and stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll catch up with you maybe later or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow because I don't think I'm going to be... I'm just going to be cleaning. I'm not even going to be making any exciting food. Like, I'm, I'm, I've got some shroom dogs. I'll show you actually. Shroom dogs are amazing. So are they, actually, they're a very like love-hate thing. Some people love them. Some people hate them. I fall on the love side. So here are my shroom dogs. 10 Green Supreme Shroom Dogs, blend of minted peas, avocado and spinach, mush uh, vegan mushroom sausages. I was going to say vegan mushrooms. Uh, but yeah, it's actually got vegan cheese in it as well, which is pretty cool. 4% vegan cheese, which like, you don't see often, you know? Um, especially in something like Shroom Dogs, where, where they've just put in a little tiny bit as well, just to uh, give it some flavour, I guess, so very cool. Oh, I also have one of these cookies. This is my friend Lorraine makes these. This is a vegan cookie. This was from the vegan market, actually. And there was also a coconut one, which was delicious. All right. I made a shroom dog bagel with those shroom dogs. It looks amazing. Vegan mayo, tomatoes, a bit of cucumber. And I'm on to a Die Hard 5, the last of the five. I made some bagels with vegan cheese and tomato. And we've got some lemon and garlic peri peri sauce. Room's still looking pretty tidy. I've now cleaned the kitchen as well. Although not the floor, so we won't look at that. And I made a bit of a mess there. That just leaves the bathroom and the porch. Look at what I have created. Look at this, this beauty. You actually can't see very well because the lighting in here is terrible. Anyway, we have here sun-dried tomato hummus in a big bowl in the center. So here we have sun-dried tomato hummus in the big bowl in the middle and then that's accompanied by a sort of lemony quinoa salad with uh, we've got some peppers in there some onions a little bit of garlic a little bit of chili as well because I like that little kick and then as you can see some tomatoes some olives pine nuts and uh, yeah probably some other things as well it looks amazing I'm going in One foot looks like this. Oh, no. I've been watching cinnamon toast Ken and that guy on the right turns out to be called Dane and he has the best laugh ever. Oh, okay, it is currently five past seven in the morning. Um, I haven't vlogged much like this week. I've been working on keeping, like, cleaning the place. But also two nights in a row now, I've had really bad nightmares. Like, really vivid ones as well, but coupled with sleep paralysis when I've woken up. So, I've not been sleeping too well. Um, but I've been cracking on with work and stuff. If I can make it through the day, then this afternoon slash evening I'm going to Oxford to watch a movie. Can't remember what it's called. I don't know, it sounds good anyway. And it's been out for a while as well. So, with Bex and one of her friends. So that should be good if I make it to that. In the meantime, I finished reading The Silver Chair 
and the last battle so I'm gonna be doing like full reviews for these but um both of them were kind of air um, the silver chair was better this was like a 3.25 and this was a 2.5 for me so not the strongest ending to the series um, but at least I did it I suppose so there is that I don't want to say too much about them because I'm gonna do the full reviews but also I already can't remember too much about them uh, so it's a good job that I left flags in them as I was going and now I've picked up The Long Mars by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter which is book number three of five in this uh, series and I'm kind of losing momentum with it to be honest but again if I go to Oxford today I'll be spending like an hour on the train so I'll be able to get a good chunk read then and I think that'll help to sort of catapult me into it so um, so that's where I'm at. I've got a little bit of cleaning left to do because you know I was doing all the cleaning. Uh, I've got a little bit of bathroom floor to do. I just need to like, I need to get the hoover out basically so I'm waiting until it's a bit later. And I'm gonna go and clean outside in my outside porch area. Um, got Biggie's litter to sort as well. So I got lots of like little jobs and uh, packing for Oxford as well of course. But other than that, I'm actually pretty happy with where we're at. So that's good so then hopefully I can when I get back from Oxford, I can hopefully focus on doing a bit more writing. I've got my edits back on Meet as well, which I haven't started yet because I've been updating my TBR list. But I'm basically ready to start that now. In fact, I'm hoping to do some of it this morning. But um, mentioning my TBR list. So yeah, I've been going through and like finding like either new books from authors where I want to read all of their books or like authors that I've discovered recently or like a great example is say like James Baldwin who I read in the Penguin uh, mini classics, mini modern classics collection and so I want to read some more James Baldwin so I'll go in and see what you know see what he's known for uh, with some authors like um, um, what's his name oh John Steinbeck I don't know why I had a blank there like John Steinbeck I just I know I want to read all of his books now so I've been updating all of that with my overall wish list, and so it's now all up to date. So my, my library is at 1,807 read books, 156 currently reading, and 3,021 want to read. So I've, I think I calculated that at this rate, I'll be like 80 by the time I finish. But oh well, better get reading, hadn't I? I'm going away for the evening, so in order to make sure that Biggie doesn't get bored, I've made him this super den with some balls and some toys and I sprayed it with catnip and then sprinkled some treats on it for him to find as well. So I'm off to Oxford, we're not going to the cinema anymore but that's okay, I've been up all night. Biggie's in here, he's got another den in here and then you've got your hiding places too haven't you mate? Alright I'm back from Oxford, as you can see I've got herpes, I don't really, I, I just have a spot on my face. Uh, it's actually from where I shaved recently, I tried to like shit, go, you can see down here, I've trimmed down there a bit. Uh, you don't need to know all this. Anyway, went to Oxford, uh, made some delicious food, I filmed like a cooking vlog for it which will be on my uh, Dane's Vegan Journey YouTube channel which I'll link to below so keep your eyes peeled for that it was delicious uh, we also watched a movie called The Pyramid and then got into bed and read for a bit so Bex is reading Fever Dream by George R.R. R. Martin which I've read as well and it's a, a pretty good book I enjoyed that book and uh, I was reading my bedtime book Porno by Irvin Welsh which I've nearly finished now like I've been reading that for like over a month as my bedtime book I think and I have like 80 pages to go I've also been reading The Long Mars, which like, I started this yesterday and I'm on page 362 of about 430, so I'm kind of hoping to finish it today because that would be pretty badass. And um, I've also had a parcel come in the post because I've ordered a few new books. And I don't know what it is, but I'm going to open it soon because this might be what I read next or I might just go on to the next Long Earth book. Or I have some King as well, I might read some King, I don't know. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's 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 it for now. So uh, I've still got some cleaning and stuff to do as well. So I'm gonna go and do that, and a few little filming bits. Like I'm gonna film this little haul, an outro for a video that I thought I'd done. <laughs> All right, I'm in focus. That's unlucky for you because I have spots on my face and stuff. Um, it is Saturday. My eyes are all watery because it's five to eight and I've not been awake long because of my shoddy sleeping pattern. I just have loads of work, so I need to crack on with that. I've, obviously, I didn't make it to Oxford. I might go tomorrow, we'll see. Um, possibly not. Uh, and then Bex is in the hospital early next week, so hopefully I'll see her after that. Um, 
Here I have The Long Mars by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. I finished reading this. This was like a 3.5 out of 5. It was good, but not as good as the first one. And I don't, I think it's just as well because I'm getting kind of mid series fatigue now. Um, but what was cool about it was that the first two books have taken place on our Earth and you can like hop from one version of the Earth to another, like the, like the parallel universes basically. And uh, in this one, the space program makes it to Mars and they realize they can do the same on Mars. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I've just started reading The Long Utopia because why not? This is book number four. So I'm gonna crack on with that. I've also been like defrosting my freezer uh, cleaning outside, doing the last few bits of cleaning in the house, so that's good. And spending some time with Biggie because he's he's been a bit a bit odd. He's been a bit off because when I got back from Oxford, he was hiding under his under my duvet, and he only does that when he's super scared. Bless him. So now I'm spending some time with him to cheer him up. Hey Biggie, how did my filming light fall over? You got any ideas? No. Ba 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 ba. I am watching Plots and Points play Resident Evil 2, the remake. Hooray! Okay, let's also see what am I supposed to be doing. Okay, it is Sunday. I have done most of my housework now. I literally just have to do the hoovering. I think that's all I have left to do. I have some filming I want to do as well. Later on today, I have to deliver a webinar uh, on how I became a freelance writer. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be good. I've also got a bunch of work to do as well. I wanted to update you on a couple of books, basically because I got these and I'm trying to get my the size of my TBR list down, so even when I'm buying books, I'm trying to buy short ones. So I read this, Little People Big Dreams, Agatha Christie by Isabel Sanchez Vigara. Uh, this, there's a whole series of these. I know there's also Stephen Hawking and Frida Kahlo. I don't know who else is in it. And this is adorable, really. I actually saw this on Brian's bookshelves on his booktube channel. Here's some of like, the illustrations. Uh, this is showing you, like, uh, it says, Agatha wrote more than 100 books and invented enough victims to fill a cemetery, but she was always pondering her next mystery. So yeah, I saw it on Brian's bookshelves on his Instagram, thought it looked great, had to get it, and that was a four out of five. And another four out of five was this, You Have to Fucking Eat, by Adam, An by Adam Mansbach, illustrated by Owen Brosman. And uh, this is like a children's book for adults. How was school, hun? Whoa, your lunchbox is full. How are you not passed out in the street? How is it you're smart? How the hell are you growing when you basically don't fucking eat? So there's also his first book, Go the Fuck to Sleep, was narrated by um, uh, Samuel L. Jackson for the audiobook, which is quite cool. But yeah, uh, very fun. I think I've got another one of these coming to me as well. So that should be cool. And other than that, I've just been cracking on with The Long Utopia by Terry Pratchett and Stephen Baxter. So I'm on page 112 of about 440 or so. So cracking on with that and we'll probably finish that within the next couple of days. In the meantime, I've got some filming to do. I'm going, I've got these Terry Pratchett reviews to do and I've got to update my wrap up as well. So I'm going to go and do that now. Oh, oh, I just clicked. Uh, yeah, alrighty. Well, I did my webinar, so that went pretty well. And I've continued on with the long utopia. I'm on page 208, so I'm cracking on for halfway. I'm also planning on reading some more of porno tonight. I'm about 50 pages from the end, so I'll probably finish those too soon. And I've only got three recipes left to try in my Bosch recipe book, so I'm going to crack on with those this weekend as well. But yeah, that seems like a good place to end this. I'm sorry if not much has happened recently. I've just been working, 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 but it is as it is. But as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.